Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is from electrical machines about DC motors. And here we'll be solving end chapter question 8.13, which is from the fifth edition. And a similar question uh, is 9.13 from fourth edition. And this is on the request of a student. And let's see the question. Now, this is the actual question from the book. A couple of things here. Uh, this is the power, output power, terminal voltage, and the resistances, field resistance, and armature resistance, like here. A full load, at full load, the current is 115 ampere. Now, this is a problem. I think this is erratic because the figure that he has referred to, the magnetization curve, has maximum uh, field current limit is 70 ampere, whereas this is 115 ampere. I could not find any curve which goes up to 115. Therefore, this question uh, cannot be solved. Uh, what I have done is that I have taken help from the uh, solution manual, instructor solution manual. And therein they have modified this question. So we'll follow that question. And here is the question. And all the changes have been shown with the red. So instead of 115, the full, full load current is now a 56 ampere. And the losses have also been changed accordingly. And in question B, uh, instead of 70 ampere, the current now is 35 ampere. So with this, these parameters, uh, we'll find these three questions. So, and we'll this is the diagram that is we'll be using 8.5. Okay. So the first question is what is the efficiency of the motor at full load? Uh, some of the parameters I have noted: the output power in HP the terminal voltage and the current. We know the formula for efficiency is P out divided by P in into 100%. P out we'll find from 7.5 HP. We'll convert HP into watt multiplying by 746. So P out is 55,950 watt or 5.595 kilowatt. And the input power we'll find from the terminal voltage and the current. So Pn is Vt IL. Now terminal voltage is given 120, and the current uh, was 56. So this is our Pn. So for the rated current, the efficiency is we'll now plug in these two here in the formula, and the answer is 83.3%. So this was easy. Now, part B is slightly difficult. So part B has two portions. What are the speed and efficiency of this motor? If it is operating at an armature current of 40 ampere, so instead of 56, now it is operating at 40 ampere. And for this, we'll have to calculate the speed and also the efficiency. So first, we'll go for speed. And for that, we'll be using this formula uh, from 813, Ea divided by Ea0. Ea is actually actual uh, back EMF or induced EMF. And Ea0 is the induced EMF that we'll calculate from this graph. Similarly, Nm is the mechanical speed, so the mechanical actual mechanical speed. And NO is the speed from this graph, which is 1200 revolutions per minute given here on this graph. So from this uh, EA, we can write like this. And since there are two currents now, the 56 and 40, so this will be our reference or the original current, and this is the new current. So we'll calculate two EAs. The first one with the uh, 56 ampere current, so we'll use this formula. And for the second one, which is for the 40 ampere, we'll write it as Ea2. 
and the formula remains uh, same we have just changed the uh, subscript a uh, uh, one 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 and two 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 here note that n zero that is this speed is a constant so n zero is fixed from the graph now we'll take ratio of the two putting in the values and then simplifying we get this term and from here we will find nm2 by manipulating you get this equation rearranging properly so we'll get ea2 divided by ea1 multiplied by ea01 divided by ea02 just opposite now one up and two down and multiplied by nm1 now nm1 is the original speed given So first of all, let's calculate EA1 and then EA2. So EA1 will be VT, the terminal voltage, minus this drop here. So minus IA RA uh, plus RS. Now in the first case, IA is 56, so we'll write 56. Calculating this is our EA1. And similarly, EA2, same formula except that IA is now 40. So in this case, EA2 is 112.8 volt. And the speed is given in the question, the rated speed is 1050 revolutions per minute. So in this equation, we have found these two, we have found this, we need to find EA01 and EA02. This we'll find from the graph. Okay, so all these are known. You need to find EA1 and EA2 from the graph. Now this is the graph. So the first one, that is the EA01, we'll find from 456 ampere. So look at this graph. This is, I guess, is 56 ampere. And where it cuts, the EA is 133 volt. So, EA01 is 133 volt. And similarly, for the second case, that is 40 ampere, the EA2 now is 120. So EA02 is 120 volt. So we have now found uh, all the things. So we find the new speed. So plugging in these values, and the new speed is 1195 revolutions per minute. So the speed has gone up and now we go to the second part that is the efficiency now we'll use the same formula for efficiency p out over p in but in this case the parameter we have to take for the 40 ampere current now p in the power in is terminal voltage multiplied by current so 120 multiplied by current 40 so this is the input uh, power 480 for 800 now output power is will use the uh, power flow diagram now this diagram this is p in this point is called p converted and we can calculate p converted from this formula e a i a and this is our output so we we can write from here that p out will be p converted minus these losses so minus p mechanical and minus p core and since a stray loss is not given therefore this is neglected okay so first of all p converted is e a i a that was e a 2 for this current it will be e a 2 and i a 2 so uh, 112.8 we had calculated and the current is 40 ampere so this is p converted now p mechanical and p core let's go back to the question now this is the part of the question uh, which will we use the question says the core losses are 220 watt the p core is 220 watt and the mechanical losses are 230 watt at full load so this loss is 230 watt 
but it is at full load. We are going to find for 40 amperes. So this is not full load. And another condition here is given. Assume that the mechanical losses vary as the cube of the speed of the motor and that of the core losses uh, motor and that the core losses are constant. So core loss is constant, but the mechanical loss is varying as cube of the speed. So let's see how to calculate mechanical loss. P mechanical is the ratio of the speed, is speed two, is speed one, and cube of that power three, and multiplied by the original mechanical loss, which are 230 watt. So from here, uh, plugging in these values, the new mechanical loss will be 339 watt. Now we'll plug it to get the P out. So P converted minus P mechanical minus P core for 3953 watt. So we have found P in, we have found P out. Now we can calculate the efficiency. These two are known. So plugging in the efficiency is 82.4%. So this is how part B will be solved. Now part C is asking, plot the torque speed characteristics for the motor. Now this requires uh, knowledge of MATLAB and uh, in the instructor's uh, solution manual, complete uh, program is given. So if you know MATLAB, you can just copy the program and write it into the MATLAB and end result, you should be getting a curve like this. So this is the torque speed characteristics showing uh, that as the torque increases, the speed decreases. So this is very uh, natural to understand. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. Thank you.